Welcome to the Ace Pilot Academy. Today, we will be learning about VA. Have you ever wondered if there are speed limits to flying safely? There are various speed limits for different situations, and they are known as V-speeds. V-speeds are speeds defined for specific maneuvers in specific aircraft at specific configurations. VA is the aircraft's design maneuvering speed. The design maneuvering speed is the maximum speed at which the limit load can be imposed, either by gusts or full deflection of the control surfaces without causing structural damage. The full deflection of a control surface is the extreme ends of the control surface, the aileron, elevator, or rudder that the pilot can move the control to. When an aircraft flies at a speed above VA, full deflection of a flight control can result in damage to the aircraft. This is due to the amount of stress the airframe is receiving. The pilot should not attempt to perform full or abrupt control movements without being at or below VA. For example, if an aircraft is flying straight and level at a speed above VA, and the pilot were to move the elevators quickly to the full up position, it might cause damage to the aircraft. Conversely, if the aircraft was flying at a speed at or below VA, the aircraft would stall before the aircraft would receive any structural damage. The pilot should not attempt to fly through turbulence or severe weather above VA for safety purposes. This is because turbulence or gusting winds can produce loads that exceed the load limits, similar to sudden and strong changes in the flight controls, which causes structural damage. Load limits are based on three categories by the FAA, normal, utility, and aerobatic. Normal category aircraft are subject to plus 3.8 Gs and negative 1.52 Gs. Utility category aircraft are subject to plus 4.4 Gs and negative 1.76 Gs. Aerobatic category aircraft are subject to plus 6 Gs and negative 3 Gs. The differences between the categories are based upon the types of flight maneuvers the airplane is approved to perform. VA changes based on the aircraft's weight and can be found by taking the square root of the ratio of the takeoff weight, TOW, to the maximum gross takeoff weight, MGTOW. Here's an example. After loading an aircraft with passengers and fuel, the aircraft weighs 3,600 pounds. Based on the aircraft manufacturer, the airplane has a maximum gross takeoff weight of 3,800 pounds and has a published VA of 135 knots. The square root of 3,600 over 3,800 is 0 0.947. Multiplied by the published VA of 135, the VA for this flight will be 127.89 knots. Being that the calculation for VA is derived from aircraft weight, this means that an aircraft's VA speed changes based on its weight. VA and weight are positively correlated, which means that VA is higher when the aircraft weighs more and VA is lower when the aircraft weighs less. It's also important to note that operating at or below maneuvering speed does not provide structural protection against multiple full control inputs in one axis or full control inputs in more than one axis at the same time. Let us review. The VA speed is important because the pilot could risk damaging the aircraft due to the forces acting on the aircraft. If an aircraft is flying below VA, the pilot can input full deflection of a control surface. This is because the aircraft will stall from any strong and sudden inputs before the aircraft risks damage. If the aircraft is flying in turbulent or rough weather conditions, the pilot should slow down from a cruising speed to the maneuvering speed, VA. This is to prevent the aircraft from getting damaged by high stresses on the airframe. Thanks for joining us at the Ace Pilot Academy. See you next time!